I'm Coach Courtney PA, and I got next. You next up, and you ain't been on sports like talk. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next, you up next. Keep the wins so hard. Rise the star on the big team, make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat, don't settle for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flesh. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, where does that go? Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B. Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? You next up, so here's my vote. Shoot. Next, who got next? SLT ready, set, go. Welcome back, Sports Life Talk Nation, to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next, a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow, real people, real conversations, real stories with amazing human beings doing phenomenal things and accomplishing big dreams. And, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin is on a revenge tour. Kevin is on a tour. We are going back through the archives. We are seeking out all of the folks that rocked with us from day one. When we was the little old puppies in the game, we ain't know we ain't know which way was up. And you know what? These folks showed us some love. And guess what? We've seen their careers blossom, grow, and flourish. And our first, I know you're rocking right now. You're like, man, I, they always got these these black talented queens these coaches come on the show mm -hmm. kevin, kevin plays a multiple part of that but that could only be a first right and the first one to ever grace the presence of our show was below me coach p coach hey. our big sis how what's you doing cracking? now what's cracking y'all it's good to be back hey Pretty good man coach we've been we've been watching you You've been out there wild. You've been out there doing big things. We see the growth. We see the hey, it, this hey, I can't wait to unpack what's been going on with you over the last 18 months. We had COVID. We had a little bit of everything. everything but now yeah. we back. We family. We back together at church. Say hey. amen. Oh. I, I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones. I'm rocking alongside of my co-host, the head coach KT. Kev, I cut the introductions down because we got to get to brass tax today. And uh I want to make sure we do this show due diligence and we we go all out so check this out if this is your first time watching the show welcome to the show let me give you a big hug right now because we about to talk some serious talk we're gonna do some stuff that's gonna make you feel good on the inside you're gonna want to be a better person after this show after you get to hear coach pa talk but don't forget to do the big four me and, me and kevin we're gonna start calling this the figure four we need y'all to go and smash like leave a comment hit the subscribe button and that's right share this with somebody on the count of three kevin can we get these people to commit all my folks out there from san antonio all my folks at trinity international hey trinity is what's up hey, we're gonna talk about trinity in just one second <laughs> on the count of three show us some love here we go one two three Boom. welcome to the family go check out the archives go check out this first coach pa because <laughs> we might we might miss some stuff that that we talked about in the first one that you needed to hear. All right, coach. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'm so <laughs> hey, see, all right, hey, no, that's the kind of energy. Get loose, coach. Get loose, Kevin. Take ah. it through this. We doing initiation, Kevin? We going we to initiate yeah, again? Man, all right, let's go. Year, let's go. Let's go, let's go, Kevin. Plus, you never forget your first beat, you So we got to do this right. <laughs> all right, coach. So to initiate you into the SLT family, Again, uh huh. Try to give us your top five music artists. Ooh, and you know, I already probably forgot what I said before, but uh, definitely Lauren Hill. Um, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Can I put some bands in there? Yeah, this is yours. This is yours. All do right. what you want to do. We're gonna put Men Condition. Oh, yeah, right. A new one, uh, Tank and the Bangers. Really love them. Never heard of them. Uh, nope. You gotta listen to them. Um, Jill Scott is always going to be in the top five. What's, I got three or four. You kind, you kind of favor Jill four. Scott. You kind of favor Jill a little bit. Thank you. Uh, that's <laughs> four. Last yes. one. I'm gonna go with Kendrick since he just dropped his album. Kendrick. We need, we need, but listen, if you go sit on this show, come with it on your top five, because it's going to be tough to be Coach PA top five, but I need mm -hmm. to hear more Kendrick. I need to hear more Kendrick, yeah. Kevin. 
I don't. We do not have enough guests come on this show and drop Kendrick in a top five. This is true. I'm still trying. The new album is still kind of it's growing on me, man. I didn't that first run. Hate I was him. like, yeah, it's lyrical. Hate yeah. Him. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worldwide stepper, Kevin. All right, coach. So, what are some of your? Well, who are some of your favorite sports teams? We'll just cut you off. Oh, Brooklyn Nets all day. Um, you know, I, I rep New York as my hometown uh, as an adult. Um. Then we'll go with the Texas team, Dallas, the Dallas Mavericks, who's still in the playoffs. Shout out to them. Um, I really love the Las Vegas, the Las Vegas Aces. I like that. And of course, my Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh oh, black and yellow, mm-hmm. black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah, we, we were rocking so good uh, to you. Said I know. I know. You had this problem the last time. You like yeah, Kevin, and it's still a problem, Coach. I, I just can't forget <laughs> to that. <laughs> All right, so something that we didn't ask you the last time in initiation mm-hmm. is, who is your favorite superhero and why? I love, I'm a superhero girl, so I, I like a lot of them. But um, my favorite, I'm going to have to go with, um, I have two. All right, I ha- I love Wonder Woman, and I love Black Panther. So um, Black Panther won just for all of the beautiful blackness. But I'm a comic book nerd, so like I also really enjoyed reading the comic books. Like I think I have like eight of them in my art studio over there. But like just the different stories. But every comic that you read about Black Panther, it's just black excellence every time. And um, I love his army of women um, that he has. Um, they are not to be played with <laughs> at all. At all. At all. Um, Wonder Woman, just because. She she does it all. Like she's got super strength. She is not to be played with either. And I feel like that's just kind of like a reflection of me. Black excellence. And I'm just I'm not to be played with. <laughs> yeah, and we know that for a fact. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess I got to call you Princess T'Challa <laughs> to combine both of them. So every good superhero <laughs> needs their own theme music. What would your theme song be? Ooh. Uh, all about the Benjamins. <laughs> I was all about the Benjamins. Mm-hmm. All the the remix Benjamin. or the regular one? The uh, remix. Bad Boy. All about Yeah. Benjamin. I was jamming at the other day. I wanted to hear Biggie's part. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> all, right, all, <laughs> all right. So, B. Jones, she's no, all Go ahead, my bad. Go ahead. I was about to say, I'm simply trying to cop those colossal size hey, Picasso's. Yo, you got to chill. You got to chill. That was my point right there, man. I thought, I, I thought, hey, hey, you remember they did a okay. little? I, I, I thought I was wilder when the locks was on that joint, man. Man, that may be my song tonight. I'm gonna be switching it up on the live she show. So, B. Saying. Jones, she's already in the family. So, let's get everybody caught up on. <sighs> coach, coach, What's you touch me here, coach. You touch me here. You an inspiration. I'm, I'm a basket. I'm a, this is going to be a celebration to you. That's what this is going to be. Even right. backstage, I was trying to get all my stuff going. And, and I mean, coach just ended up there dropping dimes on the sport. Like, <laughs> hey, coach, I can't even focus. I'm trying to jot down notes. Like, I got to get that. I got to <laughs> add that in there, coach. But let's let you know what. So I'm, I'm not going I'm not going to do what we normally do, Kevin. We, we're not going to go back through history. Go check out episode one. It is on our, our, our YouTube page mm-hmm. at Sports Life Talk. Go check it out because she's going to tell you how she started in basketball. She's going to tell you how she got land, where she's at. But, but it's something that's blessed about coming on our platform because it seems like when you come sit in that chair where you sit in that, Coach PA, uh-huh. Uh-huh. they just get to cracking in the right direction for her. They do. So I'm going to let you tell everybody what has changed since you graced the presence of our show and you rock with them brothers out of DFW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the last time um, I was the assistant coach uh, for TIU and now I am the new head coach. Say it again. What now I'm the new head coach. Uh, uh-huh. That's growth. <laughs> that's promotion. Yes, indeed. Yep. And so then, you wasn't what, lying. You had next. What'd you say? I said you had next. You, you was up next. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's all God's plan right there. I mean, uh, I think it was, what was it 2017? I was at this random, random church in Arkansas. And uh, this man said, what God wants to do with you, some people it would have taken them 40 years, but for you, it's going to take two. And since then, I was like, every two years, I was like, where you at? <laughs> where you at? <laughs> right? And, uh, um, you looking for that blessed Let me open up this door. Okay. Uh, but when this happened, is when it hit me, I was like, it's been 18 months. It's almost been two years. 
And, and then it happened. Um, and it happened. And a few of my friends had called me. They were like, they were like, don't, don't minimize this. Like, do you understand? You are a head coach of a college team. Not yes. it's not high school. You're not an AU coach, and no shade to any of them, of course. They're like, you realize how hard this is. I'm like, no, like y'all, <laughs> God is really doing this thing. And um, I when I got the position, I said, God, this team belongs to you. It don't belong to me, sure. So every step is a one day at a time. <laughs> well, you 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 talked about black excellence. Uh, mm-hmm. Congratulations on the promotion, first and foremost. But Thank to you. add on to that promotion, you became the first black woman mm-hmm. in school history to take over the reins. Yeah, yeah. Tell us, tell us a little bit about that feeling. You know, be, being the the face. I mean, like there there can only be one, right? You were the first first <laughs> black coach on you got next. Yeah, now you're the first man. black coach up there, head coach, uh, female mm-hmm. head coach. So I mean. How does that feel setting these trends and breaking these records yeah. like this? It, uh, it's, a, it's a blessing. Um, it is a true honor. Um, I just, I I told my players and I told the, the young ladies that I'm recruiting and that I just signed. And I said, you know, I made history by becoming the first, but we are making history this entire year. Whether we win a game or we lose a game, it's history being made. And uh, for someone like me who I've always been passionate about Black history. I've been passionate about our people and our culture and just how far we've come. You know, I was telling my therapist yesterday, I was like, we've had to fight to be in rooms that we're in now. And thinking about the shooting in Buffalo. And um, I was like, you know, as I'm getting promoted, people's lives are being taken, you know, and I, I can't shy away from that. But at the end of the day, we do have to keep moving as a people. and. I, I tell my players all the time, like when you walk into a room, you add value to that room. And I am the, still the only black woman in this athletic department, but I know that every time I step in that sports complex, I'm adding value. I add value to wherever I am. And being the first, making history, that to me is something that no one can ever take away from me. Nobody. I can tell my great grandkids, like, I made history one day. And that's something that I hold dear because my nephews, my niece, my godson, they can look up and say, well, she made history. So that means I can do it, too. So that's right. That's right. Yeah. So it was crazy is, Coach, you, you could t- it's a lot to learn from just following your light. Right. You, you, when you think about when you think about what a Christian really is, it's supposed to be a representation of Christ. Somebody who lives a certain way. Not not that I talk and I tell you all the stuff. Yes. But still- <laughs> Way, and we can see the evidence of the fruit that your trees are growing, right? That that, <laughs> that way that you live is paying dividends, and one of those things is because you not only came on the show and showed us love, but you like became a fan of the show. Like, oh you yeah, people our way, and mm-hmm. and you know, we had we had former head coach who who of course stepped aside and gave you the opportunity. Mm-hmm. We had Irvin Jerry on the show. Yes, so the guy, I know we love coach. We love yeah. having. Coach. Can't wait to see where he lands and what's next for him because I know mm-hmm. a big thing for flourishing. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be out there thriving. But mm-hmm. my question was, what was his advice from one you got next alumni to the next? <laughs> what was his um, advice on uh, on taking this new station? Yeah, he told me. He said, "You ready?" He said, "The way you prepared to get here is what's gonna keep you." And I, I held on to that because he always talked about how humble. And um, that I am. He was like, your humility and your work ethic is always unmatched. And that meant a lot to me um, coming from my head coach. Because there's some head coaches out there who don't give two flying you know what about this staff, okay? Um, But I I will say, Coach Jerry has been preparing me since I got on campus. Um, He had told me his timeline and uh, we had laughed about it, but when he had told me, that's when I knew, like, okay, it's time to study, it's time to learn. And so um, he was like, even if he was like, I, he said, I feel like you're the right person for the position. He said, why? He was like, X's and O's. He was like, you got that. And if it's something you don't know, you can go find out and look it up. And the other thing is that we have a very supportive athletic department um, that has been very helpful in things that I need. And so he just, he pointed me in the right direction with a lot of people and he's still available when I have questions, which I appreciate because he's a director of um, fundraising at a nonprofit now. Um, he gets to have his weekends to himself 
So uh, him and his family, of course. So he, he loves that. But um, he always makes time to answer my questions, um, which is helpful. Now, Coach, you've always stayed true to yourself. It ain't nothing fake about Coach PA. Nah. I remember the first time we was laughing about you you hanging at the family, y'all at the, you know, watching the games and stuff like that. You've always been true to yourself. Yeah. So take my honest look at the challenge that you have ahead. Mm -hmm. I mean, this thing is about to be a dog, right? Woo, yeah. This road, this road, you got you got here, but now the whole now the work really begin, right? Yeah. So what mm -hmm. what are some of the challenges? What are some you know what what's some of the fun stuff you are looking forward to? Mm -hmm. You know, what are some, you know, what are some things that might be a little, you know, we got to pick up, we got to move this together, but what are yeah. some of the stuff that you, you, you going to wake up every day excited to go out and uh, attack and accomplish? Uh, that's, that's a great question. Um, I'm excited every morning, um, to just be able to create and develop with these people, with these young women, you know, like, um, right now it's summer break, but I'm working on their gear order, but I'm also talking to one of the captains like, Hey, come give me your opinion. I know you stylish, what you feeling, what you like, right? Um, I love getting up every morning and just being able to walk into a new office that's completely mine. I've never had like an office to myself before. And so uh, I have that and um, being able to just be a part of this community at this school um, to me is an excitement. I'm excited about getting more students to games. Um, <clears throat> we've mm. been trying to connect with different departments, like even financial aid, like I sat and spoke with someone at financial aid. I said, Hey, listen, what if I get my players when, you know, three weeks after school starts, I have them individually set up meetings with you so they can stay on top of their financial aid, giving them some responsibility. And they're like, coach, I love that. Like we would love to help. I love to connect with people and I love to build community. We're a small school. And so as a small school, we got to function as a whole body and so um i'm excited about that i'm excited about the games um it's all it's like a it's like a double like i'm excited and i'm nervous right yeah, right, just, right you know because there's there's that thought where you said like some of the pressures there's that thought where i i, I think about like there are people literally watching like all right well, what's she gonna do mm. mm. yeah you know who is she and what is she about to do she's probably going to do the same things that the other coach did just to start her off to make it easy you know um there's times where i'm like there's an unspoken pressure for black men. you know there's that like well you got it you, you you'll be fine you can take care of yourself You're probably right but did you ask me if i was okay <laughs> you know what right, i mean right <laughs> you know so there's there's that and like i was um telling kt like i i'm by myself right now um i'm in the process of trying to hire my assistant coach um has been speaking to some great candidates um so far but um doing everything by myself is a lot it's a whole lot and um like i said we're a small school um but it's still a lot to do essentially if you think about it usc ucla they probably got at least 70 people in that entire staff wow probably, probably got about four assistant coaches, the head coach, and you probably got an associate head coach. Then you got practice players. You you know what I mean? You got yeah, all yeah. these things. You got dobos. You got assistants to the coach. You got all these things. I'm doing all of their jobs in one. And Good so grief. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard. And so I know that it's hard. And that's why like on a daily basis, I really have to just be like, Lord, I really need you to give me some peace and give me joy um, so that as I'm navigating through whatever my task is for the day, um, that I have a mindset that I still love and enjoy what I do every morning. Like I, it's real easy to get burnt out in this career and in this industry. Um, any coach, even if they have help, it's real easy to get burnt out. And so I've, I make sure that I have self-care days. I have a therapist. Um, I have a group of black female coaches that I can call and speak to. Right. And that's exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because then we can just be like, girl, me too. I'll be like, okay, <laughs> so I'm not tripping. <laughs> you know, um, that feels good. And um, then even having just your inner circle to check in on. So it's like, I have the support, have those, those people there for me to hold me up when, you know, I may feel like, I'm a little tired today, but um, it's like there's 
any job that you have is going to have its stressors, right? Any right. job you have is going to have its issues, but it's not so much to say that like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like I knew that this was going to be a, a hard job. You know, it was like, let's celebrate. But after we celebrate, it's time to get to work. And so I'm um, still trying to navigate through the, the work-life balance sometimes. Um, going to find new brunch spots with friends or uh, next week going to friends album release in Brooklyn. So I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to navigate it, uh, you know, but um, I'm just excited for whatever God has in store for this team, to be honest. Yes, man, that's amazing. But I'm going to tell you what, you got a volunteer head coach right over there next to you. He'll be up there next week. He out of school. He's school. He's been talking about school. (laughs) Kevin will be up there next week to help you line out these rosters, insert insert a new playbook, get some marketing materials, start the social media, all of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'll be up a little bit later. I'll be up later this summer to help out but uh last question you talked about taking some time out to yourself yeah uh you, when we ask you what's what's been up you you, you made it a, a point to mention the artwork and you talked even yeah. about it on the show a little earlier today you referenced your artwork what's going on uh, uh, uh do we have a new bot is it quentin basquiat now <laughs> what's, going what's going on we got we, we got something we need to put out in the auction uh, man uh, i wish <laughs> um i mean this well, this is one of my pieces uh, Dead. I, I, I call it the church window yeah the eye, the, yeah the eye of the Lord. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I um I have a couple more in here. Well, my whole apartment is mostly my artwork. Um, but um, I've I told was telling KT it's been a little hard to find the time to paint. Um, but I'm definitely going to be making time this summer to paint because it's a, it's an outlet. You know, I, like I talked about um, therapy. You know, I I believe that therapy works, but you also need an outlet. Um, because I've, I've been in that space where for years I didn't, I couldn't afford a therapist. So I had outlets. Mm. And so I had to find ways to decompress my mind in healthy ways that would still me moving my feet forward without a therapist. Right. And so, um, and that's also a good thing to have healthy friendship groups because you can also essentially be each other's therapist in moments. Um, not to say that you can diagnose anybody but you can be vulnerable you can feel safe you can you know give advice or encouragement or whatever the case may be but um i'm actually working on a piece right now um that just kind of, it's like a a smaller rectangle but um it's going to be representing just kind of like being on the other side of the tunnel um coming through and knowing that the entire journey may have been rough and um I will say this, that from the last time y'all spoke with me and just kind of reflecting over my life, um, I realized that faith does not look as pretty as people make it seem. (laughs) No, it ain't pretty Uh, at all. It's not pretty. And when they talk about mustard seed faith, like I had a speck of dust type of faith. And (laughs) and, um, um, I think that um, now, God is just kind of showing me like, it's okay to trust me again. It's okay to want to be faithful and in, in, uh, in not be afraid of failing or not be afraid of hitting rock bottom. Because in this industry, you can be on top of the world and then boom, next, you get rejected from every school you apply to. Mm. Right? Um, because it's tough. Unless you know, like by the time a job is posted online. They already um, know who they want to hire. They already know. Yep. And I didn't know that before, right? And then now that I know, I'm just like, okay, well, who can I bring up with me, right? Because somebody is down there fighting that same wave of disappointment and discouragement. And it's just like, all right, Lord, uh, who who we, who we bringing up this time? And so um, my paintings now, I think, are coming from a place of healing. And like all my, like even this one, this one was uh, on the other side. This one... I painted right after I left Atlanta and Atlanta was, I felt like Atlanta Atlanta broke me, but since hence the broken pieces. Right. Um, But I allowed myself to heal by just daily painting. And I think it's just another level of healing, healing. It really does take time. And then you have to be patient with your wounds. You got to be patient with God as he heals those wounds. You got to be patient with yourself. And so I think I, I owe it to myself to allow myself to heal through my painting. 
Kevin, you hear that? It's okay to cry. You can start. You can, you can, you can I'm open up. I'm about to tell you it's okay to fail. So when we get these championship rounds, you won't feel so bad. <laughs> you, need to, you, need to, you, need to, you need to open up a little bit more, Kevin. This is true. <sighs> but how, how about we do this? How about we get the championship rounds and Coach PA can be our therapist right now? Well, since you refuse to open up, I'll open up. Mm-hmm. Open up a can. All right, welcome to the championship <laughs> rounds. This is the part of the show where Kevin and now we go against each other, mm-hmm. and we got co- Coach PA in the building. She is now officially calling all the shots. Coach, you played this game before. Oh, did you play? Did you did you, did you get the opportunity? To play? All right, okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure you played yeah. championship rounds before. So we're gonna run it back one more again. I don't mm-hmm. know who won the first episode, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure I probably did. Now you do. But, Go now you open up. Now well, you I don't remember up. who won. I, 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 I just messed It's all right. It For those cool. of y'all are keeping up, both hosts will uh, will pitch an option. Whichever option she selects, that host gain a point. First host to get two points wins this episode's game. Best out of three rounds. Kevin, you won the last game, so let's go. Let's turn it up. And the one before that one, and the one before that one. All right, Coach, would you rather Man. have a shoe by Nike named after you, those Courtney PAs, or... or the Courtney PA Trailblazer Award named to a black head coach of excellence, female head coach of excellence. But just think wow. that you're gonna be getting you're gonna be getting checks and everything for Nike too as well with this shoe. So but you're I'll gonna be a legend. I, it's gonna be somebody around. Uh, it's your name will be immortalized, and it can be Wait, immortalized on the shoe too. Award is named after me. Yes. Wow. But the, the shoe will too. And just think about the um, award. The schools that you can help that can't afford those kind of shoes, and now he can help you <laughs> in a position to succeed. Um, hey, shoes I'm, right. I'm going I'm to go with the award. Yeah, I know. I tried to sell it. I, I know good. you just. <laughs> he's like the kids. I know you. I thought I tried mm-hmm. pulling your heart a little bit. Didn't work. I know right. you did. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. Round number two. And this is going to be as simple as put Coach BA. You hit a win games. You here to take them to the championship. I'm guaranteeing you an option right now to make it to the championship game, not knowing if you're going to win, lose, or draw, or I'm guaranteeing you five years of success because you're going to win the conference title five years in a row with a shot to take your team to the tournament and, ma- and possibly make it to the national championship. But you got a seat at the table with me. Once you get there, the expectations change. The level of players, the, the confidence in that locker room change. People going to know. That's five years of greatness, coach, that no team in your conference can touch you. But just think if you mess around and win that thing, coach. The day, they they going to remember the day with Coach P.A. That's I what want I'm you to have job security. That's what I'm looking out for. Ah, I'm going to go with the longevity uh, just because uh, when you build a legacy, people want to come. And eventually that ring, gonna, it's going to get on that finger. Yeah, B. Jones, you trying to rush the process. She's going the Philly way. It's a process, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, right, come, on, so, come on, man. So I'm hey, winning, you know what I'm saying? Round easy. three. Would you rather host your own cooking show where athletes and celebrities share their favorite places to eat in their hometowns or Man, coach could cook too. She told us last year. She told us last year. She could. I'm in trouble, y'all, but here we go. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Host your own basketball clinic. For underage or underprivileged, impoverished African American females, exposing them to the game of basketball at a young age, city by city. But you can fix them meals too, Coach. So he he tried. <laughs> Man, but you y'all y'all know my heart. That's crazy. I'm gonna go with the the, the basketball camp. <laughs> Man, I mean, you know the what? He, he, he don't like it. He don't like it. <laughs> but everybody don't look good at gold, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody don't look good at gold. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the champ is here. Is so Let the crowd keep rolling. Yo, can't see my bad, bro. Look at me. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look, look. I'm the captain now. I'm the captain now. You hear me? Hey, B. Jones, we have a live show that we got to get ready for. So I need to uh, uh, right, coach. All right, coach. All right, coach. We're going to get you out of here, coach. We're going to get you out of here. Right. Title of the show is you got next. You're beginning this new part of your journey. What does the future yeah. hold for you, Coach PA? Uh, only God knows, but I'm really the, ready to just be on the journey one day at a time. Hey, well, we know you're going to do it, Coach. We already know you're going to do it. I, 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 we got to get out there to Trinity. Kevin, how are we going to make it out there? How how we going to get out there? I don't know how you're going to make it out there, B. Jones. I will be at home but since I lost championship rounds. I'm in that boy is salty. <laughs> He's salty right now. I just told you, oh, Kevin, how do you feel? 
Let's talk about it. Let, no, man, you I know what? No, no. I, I'm proud of you. I've won the last four. So the fact that you broke my screen. Like three. I, you I, won I, last three. I won the last four. So thank you Actually, so much. you won the three previous. You didn't win the last one because I won the last one because I'm the current champion. You won that one. I'm talking about in the past. Yeah, you've won this one. So, coach, I'm <laughs> do you have any shout outs that you want to give? Uh, yeah, I always got shout outs. Uh, shout outs to uh, my team. I uh, love you, ladies. Um, shout out to my 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 beautiful beautiful sisters, my mom, my dad, my godmother, my stepmother, um, my godson Josiah, and my nephews Isaiah, Riley, Dante, and my niece um, Alana. Well, Coach, I almost feel guilty asking you this question because you just sent us like 50 people. But yeah, this is the part of the show where you get a chance to call out who has next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with my brothers, KT and B. Jones. I told them my story again. Now I want you to do the same. With that said, Coach, mm-hmm. even though you sent us like 12 people for real. I did. Who <laughs> are you giving your game pop to? Oh, man. Just one person? You're going to get me in trouble. Now, well, you've already did 12. So this is one person has to understand that you've already put in a lot of work. Right. And we just need that one. I'm going to say Emily Ben Jumbo has next. Emily Benjumbo, you're officially on the clock. Coach PA, little sis, family, Ken folk, we love you so much. Coach, I can't wait to see what the season holds for you. I can't wait to see what the future holds. I mean, it's, it's about to be Thank you. Thank you. nuts for you. You got next. Sports Life Talk Nation, we told you this was going to be a feel good one. Mm-hmm. And the sad part about it, this is just part two. We're going to hit y'all with part three in about a year. So buckle mm-hmm. up. It's coming. We're going to tell y'all how uh, she won her first of five conference titles instead of her <laughs> national championship. Uh-huh. She's yes, going to get the indeed. national championship in year six after okay. the next year's episode. The uh, championship <laughs> rounds. But nah, for real. Y'all, hey, listen, tap in with us, lock in with us. Uh, Wednesday nights, Kevin and I, we go live on, on YouTube and uh, on, on Twitter. It's a fun show. We talk about everything life, love, relationships, sports. It's crazy. Please come lock in with us. We are monocle about engagement. Don't forget to do the figure four. Woo! The figure four leg lock right now. Tap in, like, subscribe, mm-hmm. smash the, the 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 comments. Hey, share this thing. Let's let's get let's bust your algorithm up. Cause I know for a fact there's five to six million people out there that will rock with us and support something that's good and wholesome like this because we finally making a difference and we need your help to do so. And uh we're giving out free teas right now at sportslifetalk.com. Uh, uh, excuse me, at sports life talk on our IG tag for our friends. Let us know your address and we're gonna suit you some gear. Uh, shoot you a t uh, t shirt, uh, Kevin. I know you're a little bitter. Do I need to pull it back out and show it? Do, do I? Are oh, you good? That was, in the, that was in the past. I'm way over that. Okay. Man. All right. All right, man. We'll close this out, Kevin. Coach, thanks you. Thank you once again for rocking with us. Whenever you talk, I just sit back and listen because it's. <laughs> I know. Me too. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, man. It's, it's just so motivational. You need to be a motivational speaker as well. The professor, I'm the working professor, on it. PA, man. Hey, dropping yeah. dimes. I'm working on it, y'all. Hey, Coach PA, we love you. Sports Life Talk Nation, we love you too. Thank y'all for rocking with us. Stay safe, be blessed, respect each other, and love one another because together we are better and keep dreaming big because you never know. One day you could be an assistant coach. The next day you're the head coach. And your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet. Peace. See what's crazy is I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk out the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You want what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, just a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, you got next, yeah. I can feel it. Talking this, yeah, yeah, yeah.